So we were scrolling Reddit the other day, and we saw a post tagged with something that we weren't too familiar with. Who knows about ride tography? Well, today we're going to take a look at some of the Republic's best still images. Welcome back to episode 87 of the Riders Report. Before we get started today, we want to recognize our existing YouTube members. A special thank you goes out to executive producers Bonecrusher 2D, Coach 34, and my mom, co-producers Captain Snowbeard and Kelevapa, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month and help support our channel, you can hit join below to learn more about perks like early access to the Riders Report, emojis and badges, a members only video per month, sneak peeks, and more. We are about one month away from the launch of season eight coming September 26th to the Republic. It's going to bring skateboards, replay mode, and a brand new area called the deck. We reviewed the deck in previous videos, so make sure to check those out. And since we have reviewed all of the areas in the deck, we now have regular background footage, and this footage comes from Wandering Rocks. If you'd also like to provide some background gameplay for our videos, you can just drop us a message on Discord. I'm going to say it again. Say what again? It's been a while since oh we've God. done a photo review on Nick and Mitch. I think honestly, Steep was the last time we did an honest to goodness photo review uh, in the community. Yeah, it was a weekly thing at one point or every couple of episodes. And then the photos, we put a link up and we'd only get one or two submissions. So we stepped away from that. But over on Reddit, I noticed that there was a tag for the post called Ride Tography, and there has been more and more submissions in the past few weeks from a lot of players who have been in the game for a while and some names that we ha don't recognize. So we wanted to admire some of these beautiful photos because in about a month we'll be getting replay mode. So we're hoping that a lot of these people will turn these beautiful photos into beautiful moving pictures. Yes, and we went through and found some of the more recent ones. We didn't do too deep of a dive this time around. If this is something that folks like to see on the channel, maybe we'll do this more often and we'll we'll do a deeper dive or a more robust review. But we decided to pick five of the most recent photographers or ride photographers in the subreddit and the link is down below if you want to go follow along and see all of the other galleries a lot of these riders posted multiple pictures some posted like 11 in one dump uh, so if you want to go see all of the rest of what they have to offer in their galleries the link is down below but uh, today we are starting off with none other than jason born but the b is an eight so jason a yep <laughs> good one I uh, took his photo from probably the top of the right tiger he posted in the last month uh, called 7K and he has three pictures. But the one I love the most is the white background. And then he mm. has the character with like purple mohawk, the Red Bull, like the gold helmet, the purple smoke, and then the kind of purple snake and skull design on the back of the jersey. Um, he has two other photos in that collection that have yellow backgrounds, but I think this outfit really pops with the white in the background instead, because then you get a nice emphasis on the color. Yeah, I really like this photo. It I like this because it looks so real. Uh, like this looks like a still image that you could have taken from a Gymkhana, like a Ken Block Gymkhana video, you know, of him walking up to the edge of some cliff or whatever with a smoke thing going. Uh, this is phenomenal. I went with another not so realistic, but the angle looks real and the background and the landscape looks real. The rider, not so much. This is another one from Jason uh, in black and white of a BMX rider doing what looks to be an impossible loop in a corrugated tunnel. Uh, but just all of the textures and the way that the foreground and the background are positioned in this, like the, the composition of this photo feels very robust to me. Like this is this is professionally staged. It has a lot of depth with the buildings that are behind, and it reminds me of a Thrasher magazine cover, something yes. that you would see of the sickest stunt that someone has pulled off this month. And you have this BMX just going upside down inside this tunnel underneath a bridge, and you could see how they would design the rest of the magazine cover around it. 
Yeah, phenomenal art from Jason. Uh, Jason was one of those who posted multiples in both of these galleries, uh, one of the more routine posters in the Ridetography tag. So go give Jason some love over on the subreddit community. Uh, we're moving on to a name that we have not seen in a while. This is one that I believe the last time we reviewed a photo was back in steep. This is none other than Jox 81 uh, just hitting it again like you know, phenomenal in the first game and now absolutely sending it home in Riders Republic as well. This one is on one of the height walls, uh, not the new one that we are going to see in the X Games Park coming to the deck in season eight that will hopefully be animated as a graphic like you see in the X Games. Uh, but this is just a telephone pole with <laughs> foot markers uh, going up to the top. Looks like Jay was able to just hit that 10 mark. It's perfect. And I like the second one as well because it has a fisheye type effect. Hmm. So it looks like what you would see at an event where they have this kind of 360 camera stuck on top of a very tiny pole to get that cool angle of the rider going up and down. And I think I saw this photo right after we posted the episode where we said the X Games meter board should be digital and measure your height. <laughs> so I don't know if he listened and then tried to make that on this or if it was just a happy coincidence. No, this is phenomenal. I, I would love to see more riders try and beat Jox's height score here and both at the X Games Park as well uh, come September 26th at the deck. Uh, up next, we have S. James hitting a backlit photo on what looks to be like the top of a glacier, just some very slick surface. Uh, but the lighting behind offers some really cool shadows. And then, of course, James in the front with that illuminated helmet. Yeah, and he took this on the second day playing, so I'm sure, I don't know if the second day playing was a year or two ago and he just posted this or if it's a relatively recent post, but it is a beautiful photo and like how it shows off how you can have a bunch of friends in the game doing different things at the same time and then make some cool content out of it. Do you think, I mean, we're just speculating here, do you think those are three NPCs or do you think he was able to get three friends staged for the background of this photo? I feel like the NPCs like to be skittish whenever you're doing photo mode. So maybe fair, it's fair. friends, although it doesn't always catch the tricks they're doing. But the other three are on the ground. So that makes it easier to make one of those photos with the group. Very true. And shout out to the lens flare. Thank you, James. Uh, the next one might be my favorite photo of this entire bunch. This might take the gold for me. This one comes from Red Manga Bay, uh, and this is photo five in a gallery of 11. They're not cherry blossoms, but they are red flowers, wild flowers on the side of one of the mountains as a mountain biker is looking down the slope. Uh, this one, again, there's so much going on, so many different textures. You have the sun cresting over the mountain in the background. You have a tree out of focus. The riders right there, but in the foreground, like rule of thirds in the far left side of the third of this photo is this very blurred out red wild flower that I, just all of this this paints a picture i can smell this picture i can feel the sun you know like i can i i can be transported into this photo and it's just a masterpiece <laughs> yeah i most of the photos you posted 11 in this collection yeah um do follow that rule of thirds very well. The one I chose was the skier up on top of the mountain yeah. because it reminds me of something you would see back in the original steep days where someone's yeah. on top looking down at the valley and you can see other mountains in the distance, but you see the improved quality on the snow and it looks again, almost like a real photo. He's got the skier perfectly weighted on that right third edge line um, with the other mountains complementing it around and then some spray looks like maybe he just came to a stop and is deciding where to go next. Yeah, I feel like we um, really praised Steep for its exploration and for how beautiful uh, the photos were in the landscape was and that sometimes gets lost in Riders Republic where there's a lot of arcade. There's a lot of you know fast moving flashing lights, bright colors all in your face that take away from the landscape. Uh, but a wonderful thing that these photos have done is just remind me that this game is as beautiful, if not more beautiful than Steep was. There's so many more terrain, so much more terrain, so many more seasons and environments that you can capture in this game. I mean, it is a treasure chest for anyone looking for still photos. Yeah, and the final one touches on that perfectly. We have one from Hazard Vids 
where he is down, I would say the Yosemite Valley area. He's down in grass, his beautiful purple flowers, and you can see the snow in the background. You have a blurred out paraglider just above the mountain that you almost don't notice at first too. So someone kind of photobombed him in the background, but it works perfectly. And he has the sun setting behind the mountain. So you get this beautiful shadow coming off the bottom right of the photo of the rider and the bike. Yeah. And if these still photos look as nice as they do, just imagine what replay mode is going to bring to this game. You know, of course, you're still going to be able to take the still photos. You're still going to be able to make it look nice. You know, whenever you pause all of the action and take your time to tweak it. But adding replay mode, the rides are going to be unreal through these incredible environments and the, these different uh, biomes, basically. Uh, I cannot wait for replay mode. These stills just got me right back into the game, and I can't wait to go grab my bike and ride through and see what I can capture on my uh, on my camera as well. <laughs> Big thank you once again to Wandering Rocks for the background footage of this episode, and I think a few more in the future. He sent a lot of footage. Um, there was a little, not much at all to pick from for self promo in the Discord this week. So if you do want content shared at the end of the video, you can post in our Discord channel, Discord server under the self promo channel. And we'll last, watch it and we'll talk about it in the next one. <laughs> get out of here. Last week we had our first, what, our first sneeze mm -hmm. on, on a show. And now we have the first time that Mitch messed up the Discord thing that I haven't been able to get right for the past three and a half years. That's phenomenal. Let's go. We are regressing. <laughs> uh, that I, d Any any words no. before we end? <laughs> no. <nothing>. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for episode 87 out of our first 100 guaranteed episodes of the Riders Report. A special thanks, as always, goes out to our YouTube members, executive producers Bone Crusher 2D, Coach 34, and Mitch's mom, along with co-producers Captain Snowbeard and Killa Vapor, and our fans and fans plus. And if you want to become a member just like them, we've had X Jumpin X Jack X just join as a fan. Probably from our F1 videos, I think nice. it's, it plays out around that time. You get cool perks like early access to the show, members only videos, badges, uh, stickers, other stuff. It's all listed down there. And we use that to make even better content. If not, just subscribe. You'll catch all of our riders report videos, our TFG competition that'll come back when replay mode is here. And we've been starting to do some F1 commentary streams, so you'll catch those as well. Yeah, those are popping up. I was going to do a light promo here right at the end. Uh, we are starting to do F1 commentary, some play by play broadcasts of a league uh, in the Midwest United States, uh, Midwest Esports. So if you want to catch those, they are typically Thursday evenings, 9, 15, 930 East Coast time. Uh, so if you want to spend your evening with Nick and Mitch talking about very fast, very pretty cars, um, Come listen to us stumble through an F1 broadcast. But like Mitch said, TFG is on its way. We have more extreme sports competitions coming at you following the following the announce uh, release, a lease following the release of season eight in Riders Republic coming September 26th, 2023. But until then, we're going to keep rocking uh, and we'll see you next week. Same place, same time. I'm Nick and I'm Mitch and we'll see you on the slopes. Mm -hmm.